man, I wish I had that kind of talent. Oh, hi, everyone. Just listening to the Vince Garaldi Trio. They perform all the music in the Peanuts Holiday Specials. And speaking of music, we are about to draw the ultimate talent and music lover from the Peanuts world, Schroeder. Before we get going, you're going to need a few art supplies. You probably got these things laying around your house. You're going to need a common sheet of paper, blank is preferred, and also a number two pencil. Oh yes, if at any time during these videos you think I'm going a little fast, or if you get confused, the beauty of the videos, you can pause them, draw right off the screen, or you can even back up and watch a step all over again. Well, I think that's it. Pencils up, everyone. It's officially cartoon time. All right, everybody, it's time to draw Schroeder. Step number one, in the middle of your paper, very lightly, sketch in a circle that's about as big as an orange. Now here's the step you really want to take your time on. In fact, if you look at what I'm doing here, I'm not writing the letter O. I'm building a circle. And to do this, all I'm doing is sketching in curves, which I'm then blending into each other to build the shape. Think of this as sculpting. Also notice how I'm not erasing. I'm Erasing is basically starting over again from scratch. Don't look at what you've drawn as a mistake. Look at it as a point of reference. If you don't want a line in a certain place, draw over it where you want it. Keep adjusting and reworking and sculpting. That's really what the sketching process is. There we go, nice and round, right in the middle of your page. All right, step number two. I'm gonna add some guidelines. That's gonna make this so much easier. From the top of Schroeder's head to the bottom, very lightly, I'm gonna divide this in half. This is going to be the center of little Schroeder's face. He's looking right at you. And I'm also going to go right to left with another guideline. Basically, we're putting a plus sign on here. This shows us where the center of the head is. And this is pretty much basic construction for every Peanuts character except one of the Beagles. All right, now for the Maestro's nose. His nose is a letter C. I'm going to have him looking that way. So starting right here in the center, Nice and curved. Boink. Lucy has got a mad crush on Schroeder. She's usually found in the comic strip sitting at the end of his piano, talking about how they're going to be married someday. Schroeder's usually like, what are you talking about? All right, does it look like Schroeder? Boy, you guys got an imagination. All right, let's wake him up. Now the eyes on all Peanuts characters are in the same place. Just below the top of that nose and very close to the sides of it, here and here. The trick is keep these close to that nose. If they get above it or off to the side, you know, he's going to start looking more grown up. Now his eyes aren't just dots, that was just to place them. These are small circles. And think of these as other shapes. Really spend a little bit of time on these. I believe these are the most important part of the drawing. People always look into each other's eyes when they're communicating with each other. Likewise, when they're reading a comic strip or comic book, or even watching animation, they tend to look the characters in the eyes to make a connection with them as well. There we go. He's awake. And to really brighten him up just above the eyes, I'm going to perk his eyebrows up. Trick with eyebrows, these can go up or down depending on his mood, but they need to be over the eye. If they drift off to the side, you're going to lose any expression. There we go. He just learned a new piece of music from his favorite composer, Beethoven. All right, we have an adorable ping pong ball. One more step before we get that jawline on there, I'm gonna add his ear. Now on the Peanuts characters, this is true of every one of them, the bottom of the nose always lines up with the top of the ear. Just follow your guideline over, right there, that's where the top of the ear goes. So I'm just gonna snap another letter C on here. Boop. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but before I do that, I'm going to take just a moment and draw his cheek in. Here's where Schroeder is very similar to Lucy and Linus. Their head shape has this little indent. In fact, I'll just show it to you by drawing it. I'm going to go to the top of Schroeder's head, where the ear is not, and right across from that eyebrow, starting right there, I'm just going to take a curve. We're just going to shave a little bit off of this circle. Schneep. Get rid of it. Little indent right there. 
That'll start his forehead and his cheek will be in here. In fact, let's start that cheek. Just go right into the circle. The trick here, cartoon fans, you don't want any sharp edges. Keep this rounded. Start looking more like Dick Tracy or some angular cartoon character from the comics. Keep him round. In fact, over here, underneath the ear, I can just darken this up. We're getting and then just close this off. One side to the other. I always like to go from one side to the other of things. Know where my line's coming from and where it's going to. Again, drawings are all about building. Nice and round. Schroeder's actually based after a child that was in Charles Schultz's neighborhood. There was a kid in his neighborhood that could play the piano, and at a very early age, very proficiently. This kind of really uh, impressed the young Charles Schultz that a kid could know how to do something with hardly any training. They call that a prodigy, people. All right, now for most of the work on this dude. He's got a very fluffy head of blonde hair that tends to stick out just a little bit in the back here. We're going to draw this with nothing more than curved lines. So go step by step. We're going to draw four curved lines to begin with. These are going to go right across Mr. Schroeder's forehead. And I'm going to start right above his eyebrow here with a big old letter U shape. There's one. And then I'm going to make a smaller one. Two. And then I'm going to make a smaller one. Three. And then a little, little bitty one. One, two, three. Little bun. Ta-da. Now, this is the most fun part. Lucy has this as well. There's a curve of hair that if you were to just draw it as a shape all by itself, tends to look like a jelly bean. In fact, I'll start right above this curve here. We'll put a curve in here. This will give it a place to sit from. Starting that curve there, Go and draw a jelly bean. This tends to droop down a little bit. All this is is a curve. Starting in the middle of that line we just made. Whew, jelly bean curve coming down. Whew, up and in. You can touch your curve there. There we go. That is the front of the Schroeder quaff. That's a fancy term for fluffed up hair, kids. Check it out. All right, we're pretty much done with this. Now the top, there's a big lump and then a smaller one. Bump, -de bump, bump. And then a little one. Big bump, little bump. And back here is the most fun part. There's a little hair. Doink! And then another one that looks kind of like a U. Wee. A curve. Boink! That's where his hair sticks out in the back. My hair used to do that a lot when I was a little boy. Heck, it still does now that I'm a grown man. Some things you just can't do nothing about. And then to close this off, you just bring a curve and a curve right down to that ear there. And then another one here for the back. There's Mr. Schroeder's hair. So you can go back into it, have your overlaps as you like. That's the shape of it. It's a little frumpy, and then it furls down in the front. Now we can put that ear on. I'm going to do the same thing. Now this lines right up with that nose and the other ear. Just come right over here. Now Mr. Cheek is in the way here. So I'm going to draw this curve a little smaller. It's not really smaller. You're just seeing less of it. This is in front of this. And for the smile, this is true of all Peanuts characters, smile lines up at the bottom of the ears. I'll give myself another guideline. We always use guidelines, gang. They help you to build. Now, in a real people <clears throat> or person in the real world, corners of the mouth always tend to line up with the center of the eye. Now, Schroeder, being a comic strip character, his mouth is just a little wider. So you find the center of that eye on your line and just go out a little bit wider. Those will be the corners of his mouth. You could draw his mouth open. You could draw it small or pursed. I'm gonna give him a smile. Schroeder's in a good mood. We finally drew him. Just connect these with a curve. The trick to a smile, if there's any at all, make sure that the corners go up. 
point that up. If it tends to flatten out, it'll look more like a neutral mouth. That always says curve. That's what a smile does. And I love to draw the collars on my Peanuts characters, and we'll finish off our Schroeder that way also. Schroeder's neck is just a tube. It's just as wide as his nose is. It's right underneath the nose, two straight lines here and here. All Peanuts characters have skinny little necks. Now this dude wears a t-shirt that is purple with black stripes. I'm gonna start by closing off those necklines there with this little collar. This is where the shirt ends and his neck begins. See his head popping out of the top of the shirt there. Let's bring these two lines down. Now he's got stripes, but unlike Linus, his stripes begin on the collar. So check this out. I'm just gonna thicken that line up. That's gonna become the first stripe. Black stripe, purple stripe. If you wanna color it in, you can. Yeah, and two stripes. You can draw as many stripes as you like. These go all the way down to his belly. Hey, we did this. One last thing you gotta do here, cartoon fans. Sign your artwork. You just drew a musical genius, Schroeder. Man. Schroeder is the ultimate artist. The kid's practically married to that piano. Thank you so much for drawing with us today. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Now go out there, continue drawing, and above all else, stay sketchy.